skeletal muscle is the pinnacle. And we've been grasping at various other organ systems. Metabolic health begins with skeletal muscle. When you identify that and you train for that, sexual health, cognitive health, cardiovascular health, all of these things fall into place. And rather than chasing various items out there, this is the one system that we have direct voluntary control over. This is a new concept. I don't know if I should break this to you. So I don't think body fat actually matters. I almost think it's irrelevant. This idea of 30% body fat, I don't think it matters. I think what we're missing is that we're looking at fat in the wrong places. My prediction is in the next five years, if I have anything to do with it, and any of you in this room have anything to do with it, is that it's actually the intermuscular adipose tissue. It's the fat that happens within muscle tissue. That is where pathology begins. We all know the linemen who looks like they're 35% body fat and their blood markers are perfect. I had Melanie Cree on the podcast and she is one of the world leading experts in PCOS. And I asked her this question. I said, what is the difference between those with PCOS that get better and those that don't? And you know what she said? She said it was their intramuscular adipose tissue. I said, well, Melanie, well, how come we're not hearing about that? And she said, well, it's really difficult to measure. And in the U.S., we don't do it. Japan does it. Japan, they do MRIs for $100. She's like, we're using ultrasound and we are seeing that those with high levels of intramuscular adipose tissue, those are the ones that follow this trajectory of metabolic dysfunction. 